So last time I was talking about saving the um, you know the the factory floor uh, detonator. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know I was looking around and poking around at it, and uh, where it was cracked was actually uh, allowing water to get underneath. Um, so I decided just to take it all up, and uh, you can see my progress so far. Um, it's all gone. Um, when you take it up, you are left with uh, that black tar-like glue residue. Um, what I have found is if you just take a uh, little bit of mineral oil and um, wipe the mineral oil on it, let it sit for about five minutes, it'll wipe right off. Um, here's an example. Uh, these were almost completely black before I hit them with mineral oil, and you can see how nicely they cleaned up. Um, so yeah, the plan here is to uh, fix any rust and uh, then <clears throat> paint the entire bottom of the floor pan with uh, Pour 15, um, after which I'll put some uh, kill mat down and then uh, some uh, NACO um, matting to... Uh, take the noise down and uh, keep the heat and cool out. All right, so am I happy that I took all this work and took all this out? Yes, I am. Why? Because I discovered a bunch of hidden rust that had I not done it, I would never have seen it until it was too late. Um, so I got a little patch of surface rust there in the front passenger well. There's a little teeny hole about the size of a uh, my pinky um, the metal around it seems pretty solid, so I'll have to cut that out and weld some new metal in. Um, you know, a few other little spots, like the surface rust. Uh, I was really surprised. The, the This area here for the seat is uh, normally a bad rust point. On my car, it's good. Uh, no rust at all here. Uh, continuing on, there's some rust in this channel. And it's just surface rust. Um, if you notice, it's black. That's because I use a uh, phosphoric acid on all the rust to uh, convert it and to uh, stop it. Uh, it works really well. Now, the, the worst point I'm found, is surprisingly, is right there under the gas pedal. See it? And it's probably still a little wet because, like I said, I'm soaking it in phosphoric acid. That's what turns it black. Um, that is all the way through, so I can poke the. Uh, the um, covering underneath, oh, that's got to be cut out and re-welded. And there's some more along the side there. That didn't go through. That's surface rust. So that will be savable. Uh, really, the only thing left in the car is the dash. Um, that will have to come out again. Because uh, like I said, I have some cracks I'm going to repair. Now, I'm an amateur when it comes to dash repair. I've been doing a lot of research online. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards a, a powder product that I've found and seen where you fill the cracks with the powder and it expands and then you sand it and then you fill it with some more and we'll see. Uh, if I do it, I'll tell you the product's name and so on and so forth if it works. Well, other than that, like I said, it's coming along. It's going to make a huge difference here, I think, when uh, I get the all new insulation and stuff in there. The uh, the parts for the car are definitely piling up. Uh, as you can see, I've got a quite a little collection of inside car right there, and two front seats here, uh, which I'm going to have to work on. They're so-so. Um, that back bolster there is going to have to be probably replaced. That panel. Um, that's kind of a big hole. Might be easier just to replace the whole panel. I have to see. I've seen some stuff online where uh, people are repairing the holes, but nothing quite that big. Um, one of the things about this car is it doesn't have MB text. It is actually leather. Um, you can see here. So it makes it very, very expensive to get all new leather coverings. And sure, I could go with MB text, but I kind of lose the whole fact that this car is factory leather, you know, uh, um, I like that. And, you know, I've also got the third row seats, as you can see there. 
and I've even got the headrests. You can see one right there. But I got the headrest for the back seats, so I mean I have it, the entire car complete um, and all in leather. So I kind of like to keep it that way. I'm going to experiment. Um, I will try to fix the hole, take the seat cushions off. You know, as you can see, some of the seams are out. I'm going to have to get in there and repack them and everything, and do some sewing. Um, if it turns out, great, I'm happy. If it doesn't, ah, okay, nothing lost, just some time. And I will uh, get some new coverings for them. Um, so I'll leave it at that. And I will do another video when I get further along.